children last day we started the chapter physical quantities and lesser things we discuss different terms of physical quantities today we move to the next one that is known as density density the definition of the density mass per unit volume that is known as density but if we want to get a real conception then city is equal to mass by volume so mass per unit volume that is known as density suppose if we take same amount same mass of two different object suppose we take iron one kg iron we have taken one kg iron and another we have taken one kg of copper in both cases what happen mass it is same mass it is same but we get that is this one they occupy the small volume but in case of cotton they occupy the large volume though they have same mass mass it is same mass both cases it is equal but what happened their volume it is different if we compare the iron and cotton whose density it is more obviously the density of iron it is more than the cotton so we can say that is density it is depend on two factors one it is the mass and another one it is the volume similarly if we take it if we take 100 mm of water and 100 mm of kerosene kerosene here the volume it is same that means volume in both cases it is same but what happen we get that is here the mass it is different. density when we want to know the density of an object we require two things one it is the mass and another one that is the volume the definition of a density mass per unit volume that are known as density when the mass per unit volume of an object it will be more than that density So in that case, we get that is the iron. It has no density. So iron it has as the mass it is we get they require that is the volume it is small. So in unit volume, the mass of iron it will be more. That is why the density of it. In that case, we get we get same volume of water. But when we measure their mass, we get it has the more mass. So the density of water it will be more than the kerosene. How they are related? That is density and mass. If the mass it is more, when the mass it is more, then the density it is also depend how. That is directly proportional. Density it is directly proportional to the mass. Sorry, I am doing that. Density it is directly proportional to the mass. Density directly proportional to the mass. But in volume density it is inversely proportional to the volume. If the volume it is more then the density So density of an object it is depend on two factors. 
One it is the mass, another one it is the volume. And we already learned the unit of the mass. Why in SI system we know that is the kg. Unit it is kg. And the volume, volume means we know that is length, breadth, and height. So length, breadth, and height that means meter. How many times meter? Three times. So we can say that is the meter cube. So this type of this type of unit it is known as derived unit. Why they are called derived unit? Because mass and the mass it is what it is fundamental unit. Volume, no volume it is the derived unit, but we get the unit of density by the help of a number of fundamental units. When we get any, when we get the unit of any physical quantity that based on the fundamental, uh, fundamental that is the unit, then what happens that are known as a derived unit. So in SI system we get and that is the density of an object, it is mass by volume and in SI system its unit it is kg per meter cube. Then you have to solve a number of numericals based on each. What are the numericals of first one? Listen. The first one you write you will get from the exercise. You get from the exercise <coughs> from from exercise one. F1. Calculate the density. Calculate the density of a solid of mass 2 kg. So what is given here? Here it is given. Mass is equal to 20 kg and volume volume is equal to 4 meter cube. We have to find the density. Density we have to find. We know what do we know? We know density is equal to density is equal to mass by volume. Next, we have to first we have to see the unit whatever it is given in the numericals. Here it is kg and here it is meter cube. That means both are in precise system. If the unit they are not in same system, we have to convert it. We have to make it in same system of uh, that is the unit. Then we get you put, you put the value mass is equal to 20 kg and the volume is equal to 4 meter cube. Now we cut it and get the density is equal to 5 kg per meter cube. So we get that is the density of the object is 5 kg per meter cube. So this is number 1. Next we move to the next one. The density of copper it is given 8.4 gram per centimeter cube. What will be the volume of 200 gram of copper? Next, number two. Next, number two. What is given number two? Here, the density of copper it is given. 
Density is equal to it is given eight point four eight point four meter per centimeter cube. That means this unit is given in CGS system, and the volume it is given the volume it is given two hundred two hundred. Sorry, it is mass. We have to find the volume. Sorry, the mass it is given. Mass it is given two hundred grams. We have to find out the volume. Volume we have to find. As we know from the definition of the density, we can say density is equal to density is equal to mass by volume. Mass by volume. So volume is equal to volume is equal to. Therefore, volume is equal to. That is, we get mass by density. Mass by density. Now put the value that is we get here. It is volume is equal to we get mass by this. Now put the value mass it is two hundred and here it is we get it is two hundred gram and it is mass it is two hundred gram and that is now this. By 8.4. Now, what I can do is the gram and get it is meter per centimeter cube. So, we need to make the connection gram per centimeter. Gram per centimeter cube. Both are part. We get that is 200. This is one. Then by two again, we get five and three is twenty. Twenty-one. So we get five hundred by twenty-one is equal to to divide it. And we get that is two three six. So we get here it is seven. Then we can put the value, so we get here the volume it is in city. We get again put the value zero and five. Mm. So we get here that is if we get the value that is the volume we can get what volume that centimeter cube. So we put the value through the calculation and what happened? We get the density. To solve this one and divide it, we can get the value of the that numerical that is the form. So it is 5.
these are the ones. So we get these are different. Okay, next we move to the next numericals. The next numericals. Find the mass no, that is here we number four. We can solve number four. In number four, what is given? The measurement of phase, food phase, food.
density of that regular object. Now, that is the speed. What is speed? Speed is equal to distance covered by a moving object per unit that are known as speed. The distance travelled by an object per unit time that are known as speed. So speed when a moving object, suppose if a moving object, if it is moved in one hour, if it move 40 kilometer, so what will be the speed? Speed is speed of the car is equal to 40 kilometer per hour. So speed means so we can say speed is equal to distance, distance by time. So in any numericals, if you have to find out the distance, what physical quantity we require, we require the distance and we require the time. If these two are given, we can find out the speed. Similarly, suppose speed and time it is given, we can find out the distance and if speed and distance it is given, we can find out the time. So, we can say speed is equal to distance by time. And what is the unit of speed and time? Speed. What is the unit of speed? As distance is equal to meter. What is the unit of distance? It is meter. And what is the time? It is the second. So we can say meter and second. That means it is meter per second. This is the unit of the speed. So similarly, we can solve all the numericals what is given. When there is a distance and time, we can find out the speed. Similarly, when you have to find out the time, then what are that is speed and distance it is given. So we can solve all the numericals by this way. And in the exercise, there the is a number of diagram you will get to find out the area of irregular object. Irregular object like this one. Here from the graph paper, how many full blocks are there and how many half and more than half blocks are there, we have to count it. Then what happened? We have to find we have to find out the area of that irregular object that is the different shapes of leaves. We have to find out. And we will do the objectives. If you have, you have problems, then you can call me. And all the question answer, we, the teachers, try to send you through the study materials. You can send it. So, these are. So we completed that one, that is the, this chapter, physical quantities and the measurement. Today we discuss the density, what, what is mean by density and what is the speed and how we have to solve the numericals. That's all. Thank you. Stay well and stay at home. Thank you.